Welcome folks to our second lesson on vectors form 2. Okay? Vectors form 2 lesson 2. Okay? Lesson 1 was about introduction where we defined what is a vector quantity. Remember it must have size and it must have direction. So your focus is Am I getting size? Am I getting direction? Okay. Now, in this lesson, our focus is on equivalent vectors. Equivalent vectors. Vector zile zinazo toshana. Twenty cars. Now here, they have the same magnitude and direction. So, if you move from one point another and you measure the length from A to B and you got it it is 10 meters and the direction is towards east is towards east okay from A to B and that direction is towards east. A to B is 10 kilometers. So I'm in Nairobi. I did that. Somebody in Dar es Salaam. Okay. In Dar es Salaam. Also moved from point K to L. Towards east. And he found the length is 10 meters did i say meters or kilometers so we use meters you found again from point k to l is 10 meters then these two movements are said to be equivalent remember a to b towards east i'm in nairobi from a point a towards east i got it is 10 meters you see towards east is already a direction then somebody also, my friend, is in Dar es Salaam. At a point K, he also measured 10 meters towards east. Towards east in Nairobi. Towards east in Dar es Salaam. Length between the two points, 10 meters. 10 meters. How do we call those vectors? Equivalent vectors. So magnitude, basically, we want to add something can be measured. You see, like the example I gave you, you take a device and measure the length. But where we are heading, you can find it using Pythagoras. Pythagoras is a key tool when you have a right angled triangle. Direction can be using arrow or compass, like I used compass towards east towards east. You can use bearing from north in a given degree, direction. So you have various ways of getting direction. Bottom line, if magnitudes are equal, directions are the same, the key thing we are introducing is equivalent vectors e.g. using a bearing method from north 30 degrees towards B 3 centimeters then someone is somewhere also from north 30 degrees towards Q from P okay and got 3 centimeters then these two, AB is equivalent to PQ. You can see the magnitude in red. The magnitude in red is equal. The directions are the same. Another example, LM in size, 2 centimeters. XY in size, 2 centimeters. 
and they happen to be towards let's say east towards right this is towards right towards right then lm and xy are equivalent okay and you will not be wrong to have the idea of parallel i can also say lm is parallel to xy perfect okay so let us look at uh, you agreed you have graph paper those who have not followed graph paper so look at this what i was doing for example from here up to here so let this be a b from a to b there are three squares and the direction has been shown okay then i have another one somewhere here this is maybe p q folks p to q 1 2 3 the direction is shown therefore we say this is equivalent to that you are not wrong pq is parallel to ab i'm solidifying your knowledge on magnitude direction what have we added today equivalent vectors even if you say they are parallel you are okay so i want us to go to now cartesian plane where you will get more fun we focus the camera down here a bit i think there we are we can get up to there look at the cartesian plane i have zero one two three four five one two and so on okay this that i hope you are able to get to the lowest maybe i move it a bit down can you get to the lowest point here four you can get four but that is not a problem so we have a point a this point a a point a a point a can be red okay so let us say a point A, A is 4, 3. So a point A is 4, 3. Can you get that focused? Yeah. So our point A here is 4, 3. How do you get to A? All our points are named with respect to origin so from origin you make four steps so from origin i make four steps there from origin one two three four and then after four you go up three steps there so this is our first movement and this is our second movement all those movements all these movements in themselves are vectors okay i could say a and then i could say this is b i could say let this be a and this one be b so when i join a and b what do I get? A direct movement from O to A. So a direct movement from O to A. So let me put three arrows. Okay. Look at that. So a point A, a point A has coordinates for three when you come to cartesian plane we always start from origin make four steps and then you go three steps 
that these two movements, these two vectors, these two vectors, if they join, they give you a single movement from O to A. So, a point A, therefore, can be written as O A in a different format now. So this is a vector, but this is a point. Okay? Now, using this triangle, using this triangle, this is right angled at this point. Is it possible for you to get the magnitude of OA? We can put here O, our O. This is O letter O, but this is figure zero. So my figures are in blue. Okay? And then I put my letters in red. So I want you to get the size of vector O, A. You remember? Size, we measure or we use Pythagoras. I know you can do that. Okay? So, if I'm standing at O, I make four steps right and three steps up. Can you show me where you will land if you are at point K? I want you to be at point K. And make four steps right and then three steps up. Okay? I think you have already figured it out. Four steps right. Okay? So this is four. Then this is three. So can we do it together now? One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three. So this is will be my point L. Okay? That is my point L. So, so far I have done from O to a given point A whose coordinate was given as 4, 3. So I'm showing you movements because vector is about movement because in it there is displacement. Displaced from O to A. Using which method? Either right or left, you choose up or down. Cartesian plane. So here I told you make four steps. So one, two, three, four. Then three steps. One, two, three. Then we can draw. There. So basically, we can also put this. Because OA, we symbolized that movement with three arrows with respect to these two movements. Okay? So, what can you say about KL and OA? Lastly, suppose you are at point uh, T. This is your point T. 0, negative 3. You are here. And I tell you, make four steps right and then three steps up. Figure it out. Where will you stop? Okay. Right. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three. So let's give this name now point S. Then See, we also symbolize it like that. Okay? Because we gave it the same push for right 
three up. All of them. Where you stand, where you stand, if you give the same push, then you get equivalent vectors. So in conclusion, KL is equivalent to OA is equivalent to TS. All these are equivalent vectors. So what we need to know now is when we have equivalent vectors when we have equivalent vectors they can also be parallel vectors they can be parallel vectors the parallelism the idea of being parallel is well seen if they are far apart if they are far apart here this and that you have that so we are saying this is parallel to that we can see them when they are separated they are still parallel there are two distinct things two distinct things they exist You are seeing one, one, eh? You are seeing one. But the other one is there. So the top is parallel to the bottom. This top ruler is parallel to the bottom. The only thing you don't see it. So I want you to focus ahead in the next lesson. Okay? So that you are able to see. So the key things are, I've just brought in the idea of movement. Because vectors you are going to get in form four, form three is about movements. You move from here to Thika, from Kikuyu to Thika. So from Kikuyu I go to Nairobi, then Nairobi to Thika. That it would be your movement. But in your mind I'm going to Thika. You don't tell people I'm going to. Kikuyu. Nairobi and then Nairobi to Thika. No, you just tell people I'm going to Thika. But what entails your movement? Kikuyu, Nairobi, Nairobi, Thika. Very simple. That is a life situation. The application of vector in life situation. Get next lesson. You wouldn't miss it. We want to see how do you add these things? So th part of this will be very good for us. Till then, subscribe. Get lesson 3, form 2. How do you distinguish between this and the previous one? These ones I'm writing form 2. And I've started from scratch. So if you are form 3, form 4, you missed vectors, please get the basics from lesson 1. How have I coded form 2? Bye-bye. Subscribe for more.